Some of the best ideas happen in a spur of the moment and might not seem like much at the time when Jenna McKinstry decided to put her Pomeranian in a toy car. She could not have realized the impact it would have. Yeah, you see a tiny dog in a tiny car makes a big impression. <laughs> and for one News 6 viewer, it was worth a Getting Results Award. Whoever said hospitals weren't warm and fuzzy? <laughs> Oh, we got people coming out the elevator. Never met Coda the Fluff. She's a, she's a little marshmallow. That's why we call her the Fluff. She's one of the newest members of Orlando Health's pet therapy team. She's amazing. And the seven-year-old Pomeranian makes quite the entrance with her shades, Puppuccino, and her trademark fur Ari. Just five to 12 minutes of petting a dog is proven to reduce blood pressure, cortisol levels, increase endorphins. Yeah. Gina McKinstry and Coda make the rounds, traveling the hospital corridors. Well, as much as they can. We can't move five or 10 feet because people, <laughs> they just, they come from all directions and want to take a picture or a video and. Oh, she's so photogenic. <laughs> <laughs> they just start laughing and smiling no matter who it is, like right away. So it's, a, it's pretty cool. The idea started last year. McKinstry was already planning to certify Coda for pet therapy, but the pandemic closed all hospitals to visitors. That's when she came across the car in a toy store and had an idea. She made a few videos, posted them online, and the next thing she knew, Coda was a social media sensation. We can only meet a limited amount of people, but through her videos, we can impact the world. She has followers in every continent. And that's when they met Cole Pudliski. Um, she's a very cute dog, that's all I can say. <laughs> the 15-year-old is on the autism spectrum. He loves vintage cars, collecting old records, and drawing. His mom, Darla, calls him an old soul <laughs> who had been dealing with a lot. We had seen their videos quite a bit and thought they were so adorable. <laughs> I mean, and Cole had been home sick again with bad bronchitis and sinus infection and was missing out on so much at school, and he had just started. So Coda stopped by to cheer him up. And it, it meant the world to him, because we had just lost our dog, too. And, and it just, it really helped him a lot. That personal visit left a lasting impression, one Pudliski is grateful for. The therapeutic value she's bringing to so many people and doing so much good, it's, it's so needed to be recognized. It feels pretty good. I'm really proud of Coda. I'm really proud of the program. This is something I'm going to look back on and be proud that I spent my time doing this. Okay, if you don't smile when you see that dog <laughs> in that car with those glasses the come shades, around the corner, man. you're dead inside. The shades, the yeah. shades are amazing. Mm -hmm. McKinstry is encouraging others with well behaved pets mm -hmm. to consider volunteering for pet therapy. We're told Orlando Health could use some more volunteers. We'll show you how to apply at clickorlando.com. There just is something about a dog that can make you forget about it. Absolutely. Everything. It's also where you can nominate someone for the Getting Results Award. You don't have to be as cute. They don't have to be as charming, but, but it know, helps. It does help. <laughs> Find the form <laughs> under the Getting Results tab right there That's on right. the homepage.